Aerobics All Star. Today we've got a body conditioning workout for you. What does that mean? We're basically working every part of our body. We're going to be focusing on toning, strengthening and tightening up those muscles. So we're working into upper body, also working into the abdominals, but also into the legs and into the butt. March it out. Before we get going though, I want to make sure that you're nice and warm, make sure the blood's pumping through those legs, make sure the heart rate's just a little bit elevated. Alright, take it into a heel dig in front, here we go, let's go, push down. So we've got to get you moving so that those muscles are nice and receptive to the exercises. Push four, and three, two, alright, same thing, just take it back, we push it back, working into the calves. Starting to feel a little bit warmer, stay here for four, three, two, alright, step touch, here we go, just take it across. So today we're at North Curl Curl Beach, one of our favourite spots on Sydney's northern beaches. Back to our heel digs, in front for four, four, three, two, now push it back, four, three, two, in front again, four, three, two, take it back. All right, back to our step touches, this time travel them forward, forward, with a clap, now take it back, back we go. Let's do that again, take it forward, and take it back. Now we're going to do it again, this time when we come to the front, give me a double curl. Stay here, double curl, right now, double curl, oh that was a double knee, make it a curl, back you go. Knees curls, just as long as you're moving, double knee, oh double curl, heel digs, let's go. I think we might scrap that one, can't even speak, push it back. Heels in front. Before, take it back. All right, I want you to take the legs out nice and wide. We're just gonna squat down. Nice and quick to start with, just little. So small range of motion. Concentrating on getting the shoulders back. Abdominals locked on tight. All right, we're gonna twist over. So we go squat up, squat up. Try to get back on that beat. If it comes back, that's it, sinking down nice and low. Working right through those quads. So, body's getting warmer. We're now getting into our body conditioning. Starting off with the legs. Sinking low. What's the upper body doing? How about we take the arm, reach it up. Let's go. We go up. Punch that arm up. Knees are tracking over the toes. Keep it strong. Four more. All right, same thing, just reach the arm over, across, across. Really twisting through the abdominals, keeping them drawn in tight. That's it. Starting to feel it in those legs. All right, I want you to slow down the pace. We go down for two, bring it up for two, down for two, and up. So legs should be nice and warm by now. We're getting straight into our muscle conditioning. So shoulders back, chest up nice and high. Two counts down, down for two, squeeze it up for two, down, squeeze it up, and again we go down, squeezing it up, you're going to give me four more of these, down, make sure the knees are tracking in line with the toes, that's it, down, squeeze that butt on the way up, keep it down, last one, alright, we're going to come down and pulse, hold, 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 squeeze up, down, 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 squeeze up. Now, not too many of these, but you really start to feel them working into those legs. Down, 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 squeeze up, four more. Almost there. Squeeze it up, down, 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 squeeze up, down, 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 squeeze it up. Last one. Now you're gonna give me three squats, one calf raise. Down, down. Down, and then raise it up. Let's pick up the pace on that. Let's go down, 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 and up. Down, 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 and up. So working into the quads, working into the butt, and also the calves. Really try and raise out of the crown of your head when you raise up. Working right through those calves, and up. All right, four more of these, four. 
Raise it up. Three. Squeeze up. Two. And up. All right. Just shake out those legs. Bring it back into the squat, but this time narrower. So we just go down and up. Down and up. Now, as your stance gets narrower, watch that you don't dip that chest forward. So I want you to stay with these. Keep them going while we go on a break. If you need to grab a quick drink of water, now's your chance. And come back and join us. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those squats. Oh, can anyone enjoy squats? Well, we're gonna take it into a lunge now. Still targeting into the butt, into the quads. So I want you to set yourselves up nice and strong. We've got a nice wide stance. Knees are not tracking all the way over the toes. We're trying to sink straight down, straight up. We've got your shoulders back, of course. Abdominals locked on. Here we go. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Now, if you do find it a little bit difficult to balance or if you've suffered from any knee injuries in the past, you might find it a little bit easier to actually lean on something. So if you grab a chair, grab the wall for balance, all right, sink it straight down. Not many more of these. We've got to work all our body yet. So we've already targeted into the legs. Four more. Three, two, and one. Shake out, other side. So take that leg back, again, nice and wide with the stance. Abdominals on, let's sink down, down. So really avoid traveling all the way over the, over the knee. You don't want that, you wanna go straight down, down. Squeeze it up. Feeling it already. Stay here. You got four more. Four, three, two, and one. Last one, shake it out. Okay, not finished with our legs, but we're gonna try it working down on the ground for now. So, lying down, leg raises. So, I want you to lie down, support your head on that arm. Legs are straight. We lift the leg up and down, up and down. Now, while you're doing this, make sure that your bottom doesn't dip back. You wanna keep it rock solid. Abdominals are rock solid as well. Now, the trick to this exercise is making sure that you don't touch those two feet at the bottom. You wanna keep at least a centimetre in between the two feet. Keep that muscle engaged. Starting to feel it. You should be feeling it right into that butt cheek, also into your inner thigh. How about it? Can we handle eight more? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Keep it strong. Almost there. And last one. Okay, just massage it out a little bit. Roll onto the other side, let's even it out. Set yourselves up nice and strong. Arm goes out, head rests on that arm. Body is nice and straight. Abdominals locked in, butt squeezed. Let's do it. We go up and down, up and down. So check, is that foot flexed? Is there at least a centimetre gap in between your two feet at all times to keep those muscles engaged? Keep it strong. Squeeze the butt. Starting to feel it right into that butt cheek. Also into the inner thigh. I try not to let the foot dip. Keep it nice and flexed. Full engagement. How about eight more? Eight. Seven. Six. We are doing well. Four more. Four. And three. Two. And one. All right. to work into the upper body. So, we're gonna try doing some push-ups. Now, Emma's gonna actually do the beginner version. We're gonna take it into the next level. Okay, so take the hands out nice and wide. Weight is stacked over those shoulders. You're resting on your knees. We go down and up, down and up. Now, try not to put too much pressure on the knees. So you really wanna avoid the, knee, the feet coming up. Keep them down nice and low. Protect your knees. Starting to feel it. Working into the shoulders, working into the chest, also getting a bit of work into the biceps as well. How we doing? Looking good? Keep them coming. Now, even though we're working in 
against the upper body, your abdominals still, should still be drawn on nice and tight. So you can actually get quite a good ab workout just from push-ups. Fancy that. Can we do eight more? Why not? Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Starting to feel it. Almost there. And relax. Just pull those arms back. Quick stretch. Excellent. So, we've worked into the front part of the upper body. Time to work the opposing muscle groups, the triceps. So we're gonna do some tricep dips. So, fingers are facing. So don't have your fingers pointing to the back. You need to have them facing towards you. All we're doing, I'll show you the beginner version. You can just dip down, making sure those elbows bend. But, if you wanna be a little bit more advanced, you wanna really work into those triceps, lift the butt up, down and up. So, really starting to feel it, lengthen through those triceps. Make sure that those elbows stay pointing to the back wall, so don't let them come out. How are we doing? Feeling it already? That's it. So try not to jerk the, the body around. It's your triceps that are doing all the work. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Almost there. Oh, last one. Oh, can we feel it? Well done. Just give yourself a bit of a stretch during the break. And when we come back, we'll work into our abdominals. Other side. Welcome back. How's that upper body feeling? Those arms really got a good workout. So we're going to give the arms a bit of a rest, take you down to the ground, work into our abdominals. So not only will we be working the rectus abdominal muscles, they're your six pack muscles, but also your obliques and also your lower abdominals. So down we go. Just starting off with a basic crunch to start with. You want your hands behind your head. We raise up for two and down. So taking it nice and slow to start with. Really pushing that lower back right down into the ground. Now lots of things to think about when we're doing abdominals. Your elbows have got to stay back, so don't let them creep in, you want to keep them back. You want to keep your chin right up off your chest. That eliminates any pressure on the neck. Any pressure or any tension we should be feeling should be in the abdominals, not into the neck and not into the shoulders. Up for two, and down. Up. Stay with these. Try and get a little bit further. So we want to get our shoulder blades up off the ground. Now make sure you are still breathing when you're doing this. A lot of people have a tendency to hold their breath when they're doing abdominal crunches. Not good. You want to breathe out on the way up. So breathe out. And in on the way down. Breathe it out. Down we go. Almost there. Now we're going to stay with these. We're just going to pick up the tempo. We're going to go up and down. Down. So really resist the temptation as we pick up the pace to jerk your neck. You want to stay even more controlled. Raising up, shoulder blades up off the ground, breathing out on the way up. That's it. Not too many more of these, starting to feel it already. Keep it coming. Alright, time to work into our obliques. So we're going to go up and twist, up and down. Twist to the other side, bring it back down. Up, twist, up and down. Up, twist, up and down. So you still need to make sure you get those shoulder blades right up off the ground. Elbows are back and make it feel like you're squeezing your shoulder across rather than your elbow. That will work further into your obliques. Stay with these. Up and down. Up, take it across down, up, across, up, and down, alright, new tricky move, I want you to dig your elbows in, we're going to raise up nice and slowly, we're going to go up, up, bring it down, and down, up, up, down, and down, now these ones, you're probably feeling it already, you bring your shoulder blades all the way up, but your elbows are resting there for support, try not to hold the tension in the neck, up, not too many more of these. These ones are tricky. Keep it coming. All right, there we go. Back to our single crunches. And down, up, and down, up, and down. Four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, cross one leg over. Still working into the obliques. So we come up and we take it to the side. Tempo. Let's go over and down, 
like your shoulder is coming over towards that knee rather than the elbow. So we work right into the obliques. So we're trimming down our waistline. and down. Shoulder coming all the way over to that knee rather than the elbow. Twist it over. Starting to feel the burn. Working down the sides. Stay with these. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, just take it into a bit of a stretch. Give those abdominals a bit of a rest. They've been working hard. Okay, we're not finished with our abdominals yet. We're going to work just below the belly button, the lower abdominals. How do we do that? Reverse curls. So I want you to feel like you're pushing your feet up towards the ceiling. Lift the tailbone up, up, up. You really want to eliminate any swinging. So you can see that my legs are just going straight up, straight down, with not too much swinging. As soon as you start to swing, it's not your lower abs doing the work, and that's what we're here to work. Lift it up, targeting just below that belly button. Stay here, four more. Did you manage to keep up all those abdominal exercises during the break? It's tough stuff, which is why we're going to take you down for a stretch right now. So I want you to just lie down, stretch your arms up above your head, point your toes, really feel that stretch, feel it working into your abdominals. Try and stretch even further if you can. Feel like somebody's dragging your fingertips, dragging your toes opposite direction. Excellent. Stay a little bit longer, get the maximum stretch. Okay, just bring the legs in, hands to the side. Just take the legs over, stretch into your lower back. Try and keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Nice stretch in through the lower back. Don't want to hold any tension in there, so really stretch it out. Bring the knees back to centre and other side. Just looking the other, other direction. While we're here, how about we stretch into the hamstrings? So, I want you to lift one leg up, making sure that you try not to lift the tailbone up off the ground. Get the hips pinned to the ground, grab that leg and pull it in just so that you feel that stretch running through the back. It doesn't have to come too, too far. If you're not as flexible, it doesn't matter, just as long as you feel that stretch. Hold it here and same leg, we cross it over. Push it back, reach through, stretch into those butt cheeks. Great stretch for the glutes. So you should be feeling this stretch on the leg that's crossed over. So really feeling it right about here. Well done. Okay, let's even it out. Take the other leg, extend it up. Again, hip bones, pin them into the ground and pull it in nice and close. Try not to lock the knee out too much. Now, if you enjoyed today's workout, why not check out our range of videos and DVDs that we've got on our website, www.aerobicsoldstyle.com.au cross the leg over, push that leg back, reach through. Now on the website you'll find a whole range of videos, not just body conditioning like we did today, but things like kick aerobics, Pilates, lots of great Pilates and yoga videos, something to suit every fitness goal. All right, just carefully coming onto your knees. No sudden movements, try not to jerk that head up, you don't want to feel lightheaded. Take the leg out in front, stretching into your hip flexor now. 
So you just push that weight over so you can feel that nice stretch in through the hip flexor. Take the arm across, making sure that that shoulder doesn't stay up. You want to keep it nice and flat, take it across, get maximum stretch through the shoulders. And we worked our triceps nice and hard, so take the arm back, take it behind. Now I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Just continue with these stretches and we'll see you for the very next Aerobics Oz Style.